Are we filming? Yes, we are. Um, I've been experimenting with foldouts, as you know. And uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to uh, use a monthly foldout, but I just wanted to share with you uh, just a little bit of an experiment here. Obviously, this is uh, mini size paper in a mini size binder, and this is this is a foldout uh, that I I'm I guess uh, I wouldn't say uh, a prototype because that's too grand a word, but. This is this is how I would fold a sheet of A4. Now, this is Clairefontaine 50 GSM paper, so it makes it very, very good for folding up. And the advantage with a fold-out, as we all know, is the fact that you've got, effectively here, you've got an A4 sheet, which is the equivalent of eight of these sheets. But instead of using uh, eight sheets... Um, uh, in terms of ring capacity, you've only got one sheet, or you know, so it's one eighth of the space uh, effectively in the rings. Uh, but this is how I did it, and I needed to just fold it very, very uh, easily into into four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, I beg your pardon. There's nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, that's strange, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I wonder why that is the case. I wonder why that is the case. Not quite sure there. <laughs> I've ended up with nine sheets. Um, do you know, that's a strange thing, isn't it? I, for, I had a bit of a mental block here because I'm so used to cutting, cutting A4 into eight equal size sheets, each one of them being A7, that I can't quite figure out. I'm a little bit tired today. I can't, can you figure out? Leave a note in the comments if you can figure this out. So if I, if I cut it into, if I cut a sheet of A4 into eight equal size parts, we get A7. And yet here we are with a folded A4 sheet and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine pieces how is that the cat how can that be anyway there we go it is slightly less than nine uh, it, it, each one of these is slightly less than um a7 i mean that is that is the the real truth of it isn't it but the thing is what i have done here is as you can probably see is i have just I have just folded it after leaving a margin here with the with the with the the holes for the ring mechanism, and then I, with a pair of scissors, uh, I have cut out this piece here and this piece here so that I can do the fold. There we go, and I think that's quite an elegant way of doing this for those of you that do want a, a kind of. Uh, fold out for a monthly, in this case, a monthly view of the month. And um, I'm actually experimenting with a weekly fold out rather than a monthly fold out uh, because I can be more critical with time. But this is actually, uh, I think, a, a valid a valid way of doing it. And just having the uh, the, the the actual connecting uh, position of the paper like this, so that if you imagine you're on a train or something, you can you can hold this piece of paper, but your but your actual binder is close to you. So it, if if you had it like this and you were reading like this, someone might uh, might more easily snatch your binder away. Uh, maybe they would, maybe they wouldn't, but you know I think this is probably. A, a, a slightly safer way of doing it uh, if you're in a public place like a like a train or a cafe or something um but anyway i i don't really need to uh, show you how i've done it because you can see it and i would really appreciate your your comments particularly with the positioning along the baseline here and with the with the fold like this i think that that has some validity in today's analog world, especially where 
um, the spaces at a premium, especially in a mini size binder. Could this be, you know, these fold outs in a mini size binder? Could that actually be part of the resolution, part of part of the equation in terms of paper ba paper based productivity in, in something that you can actually fit in your jeans pocket? I don't know. Maybe you do, but it's just one of my experiments. Thank you very much for watching. Until my next video, goodbye.